Hello everyone, this is Blood Queen Tarot, <clears throat> and I am here to do a reading, a weekly reading for Aquarius. Aquarius, this is your weekly reading for February the 1st to the 6th, <clears throat> 2021. And I'm losing my voice, it's kind of late, and this is like my fourth reading I'm doing. Where I live at, it is like 3.30 in the morning, so my voice is like... Um, going, but I guess that's a good thing, so I won't, you know, I can't yell. So, um, Aquarius, yeah, this is your weekly reading. What's crowning your energy and your oracle for that week is thorns, and I'll read it when I get to it. And this weave together the crown you deserve. Yeah, um, crystal. For that week is turquoise and it's prior prioritize your health. Prioritize your health. And what I want to say, because I like to notice colors with the when I pull out y'all oracles and stuff, y'all crystals and stuff like that. I look for color coordination. And what I notice with y'all two cards is what I want to say is, Aquarius, weave together the crown you deserve. That's your oracle. So that's crowning your energy for that week. So that's what you're going to be doing. Or you should be doing. But whatever you're going to, whatever you're working on. It's like you're kind of maybe forgetting about prioritizing your health. Now, I don't know if that's physical health, mental, emotional, because it's like this. So your crystal is that blue, that turquoise color. And the majority of this card is red. But if you look on the wall back there, like the wall or the picture, that wall back there is the color of this y'all crystal, that turquoise color. So, for example, you know, this your your energy, Aquarius. This is crowning your energy for the first week of February. So, say like this is you. That could be you right there. That's your daughter and like your friend or like your sister or something. But it's like you sitting there. And it's like you, while you doing what you got to do, it's like you're going to remember this crystal. Because it's like you see it. You sitting right there. But it's like that wall, like the handwriting on the wall, you're going to notice something about your health. And it's going to put you back in this crystal energy. You're going to remember this crystal because it's like you're staring right at it. The, that color back there is the same. That turquoise color on that wall back there. And that's you, Aquarius. You working on what you're working on, but you're going to notice something about your health. And you're going to, you know, I'm getting like multitasking. You're going to have to prioritize your health in the midst of you um, weaving together the crown you deserve. Yeah. Yep. So, I'm going to go ahead and jump right into y'all reading. Um... Because what, what I, what I want to say about that crystal, and it'll probably get, what I'm trying to say, I'll probably be able to explain more when I get into the crystal. But that turquoise color back there on that wall, is like the, the writing is on a wall. It speaks for itself. So, for an example, what I'm getting, that's just like, you know you always working, and you know you don't drink enough water. And you sitting there... You know, working on what you're working on, multitasking, you busy. And it's like, you get like a migraine. Or you get like the symptoms of dehydration. So it's like you doing good, you putting in the work, you working, you multitasking. But it's like that card telling you, your crystal is prioritize your health. Because without health, it's like, health is wealth. Like they say, health is wealth. So, 
It's like the universe is whatever this is in, in your energy. The universe is helping you weave together the crown you deserve, but you can't forget about your health. That's what I'm getting. So whatever might happen to you in the midst of you working and probably multitasking, you're going to be reminded to prioritize your health. So you got to balance out work and your, you know, you got to balance out everything. That's what I'm getting. But it's going to be staring you right in the face. Mm-hmm. The writing is going to be on the wall. It's going to be undeniable. And you're going to have to either way around it, whether you want to do it or not. Because I'm getting you don't want to prioritize your health. But you're going to end up having to do it anyway. That's what I'm getting. Because you got to prioritize your health. And that could be physical, mental, or emotional health. <clears throat> but y'all first card out is um justice. So this is a major arcana for the sign of Libra. And this could be a person embodying this energy, or this is the universe. If this is the universe, this is letting me know, Aquarius, you or somebody else might get justice in the matter. It might be you. This could be you or somebody else doing the right thing concerning a situation. This could be a legal matter. What clarified justice was this nine of wands. Nine of wands. So somebody is defensive. Somebody defensive. Um, and what came to me was this. What came to me was what I just said about that. Your um, crystal and your oracle. Like, this is you knowing what the right thing to do is. Like, you know the right thing to do. You got to make your doctor, doctor's appointment. You probably got to take your vitamins. Um, Stay on the regimen. If your, your doctor could have had you on some type of regimen. And because you busy, you got stuff to do. You defensive. You don't want to do the right thing. You defensive. If, For example, if that crystal right there, if this justice card is here telling you the right thing to do in the midst of everything is to, pro to prioritize your health first and possibly your physical health, you right here, you don't want to hear that because you got stuff to do. You got about 20 errands to run and you don't want to take your blood pressure. You don't want to take your vitamins. You don't want to drink no water. You defensive. You don't want to stay on track with the diet. You defensive. You don't, you ain't, mm -mm. whatever the right thing to do is, you do, you're, you're defensive. Mm-hmm. Um, cause what I just got, it can be a, some, something is changing about your health. And you, this your fire energy, you and your fire, fire energy. So you upset, beaten, battered, and bruised. Because sometimes the nine of wands could signify someone who has been through a battle. So this could even be something like a diet, something, you, you know, your doctor could have you like on a, a strict diet. You could have been trying to lose weight for years, even trying to gain weight for years. And it's like, you frustrated, you've been in a battle for so long, and it's like, you don't want to do it. Because you probably feel whatever regimen you on now, you probably feel like it's going to turn out the way it has always turned out. So you don't want to um, do this, the right thing, because you feel as though it's a waste of time. If it didn't work in the past, it's not going to work now. But this justice card is here, and it's telling me, I'm giving an example if this is a new health regimen, whether it's whatever kind of health, physical, you want a diet, mental, emotional, whatever this regimen is, this time is going to work. But you nine wands because in the past it probably didn't work. That's what I'm getting from that. When I ask for more information about justice, this came out. So justice came out again in a totally different deck and the chariot came out. So this could be telling me that the right thing to do, 
this new regimen, this new way of living, whatever this is, this is, <clears throat> this is going to give you justice this time around. And it's going to allow you to move forward. This is the major arcana for Libra. And this is the major arcana for the sign of Cancer. This chariot represent. This chariot represent. Somebody who has the mind. They got the will. They got the stamina. They got the, the um, resilience. To conquer. To overcome. And to win. Whatever they charging at. The chariot. So, like I said, for an example, if you don't went to the doctor about 20,000 times over the past five years, you know, trying to get your weight um, adjusted, whether it don't always got to be somebody who's overweight. <clears throat> it could be, you know, somebody who's trying to gain weight because everybody got different, you know, health issues. So this could be a situation where somebody has needs to or wants to gain weight so it's letting me know that justice is here and whatever this new regimen is it's going to be justice for you this time around and it's going to allow you to conquer and overcome whatever you're charging at so whatever it is you want to do whether it was lose weight gain weight whatever it is but you defensive because i'm getting you probably tried this in the past you tried many different things, many different ways, and it didn't work. So you defensive because you don't think this is going to work. But it's letting me know justice is here. And this is the thing that's going to work now. It's going to work. It's here to bring you justice, and you're going to be able to overcome and get a victory with this chariot energy. Because this is two major arcanas. You can't get no better than that. Justice in the chariot. Um, what clarified justice was this five of pentacles. So this is you Aquarius. Like I said, whatever the situation is, I'm getting that as something with your health and it could be physical, emotional, spiritual, whatever this is concerning your health. <clears throat> you was feeling left out in the cold. Something probably wasn't working. You probably wasn't able to manifest. Something just wasn't working right. And you was feeling left out in the cold. And I also want to say that you probably couldn't afford what you needed. Like if you, if your doctor told you to go on a diet because you had to lose weight or that you had to be on a specific diet. The organic stuff and the whole food, you know, the, the food that's good for you. It's more expensive for the most part. That food is expensive. So it's like you couldn't even afford to like um, purchase the food that you really needed. That's what I'm getting to. So this is letting me know again, justice is here to give you justice concerning you feeling left out in the cold. Because these are pentacles. So this is like resources and money. So this is letting me know you couldn't, you probably didn't have enough money. You, you couldn't afford the food, the regimen, you know, the food that you needed, that organic, the healthy food, you couldn't afford it. Or this could be telling me, you know, you probably didn't have, you know, the right insurance. You could have had some, um, you know, your insurance, but you didn't have the best insurance. I'm getting insurance with this five of pentacles. So either way around it, you just felt left out in the cold. But it's telling me justice is here to rectify that. Whether it's got to do with insurance, your income, what you could afford. Justice is here now in February to rectify it. You're going to get justice concerning your income, your money, or your insurance. And you, you're going to be able to afford it. What clarified the chariot was the Knight of Pentacles. So the Knight of Pentacles is, um, the Knight of Pentacles can mean someone who's committed. They loyal, they committed, they ain't going nowhere. The Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles can also represent stagnation. 
But what I'm getting from this, Aquarius, if you turn around, because you defensive, you didn't, you you thinking something not going to work, and you thinking something is going to be the same. But if you just turn around and get out of that, because, well, see, with the Nine of Wands, you got your back turned to justice. If you keep on walking going that way, you're going to get another wand. And that's probably what the universe is waiting for. So you already nine wands. You go ahead, keep on walking, and you're going to collect another wand. And then you're going to be ten of wands. So you're going to get burdened, and you might have to come back and revisit what the universe was trying to give you anyway, which was justice in the matter. So even if you don't, you know, eventually down the line, probably in February or early March, <clears throat> you're going to get burdened. And this justice right here that you rejected, you're going to have to go come back to it or revisit it. Yeah. Um, Because it's showing me right here. It's showing me right here that this chariot energy. I'm trying to think. Period. I don't know. You could be dealing with a cancer. Because you like this. This is you, Aquarius. This is you or somebody else. You feel left out in the cold. <clears throat> like, you know, life ain't going your way. God ain't answering my prayers. You feel left out in the cold. I can't manifest. So it's a little bit of self-pity right there, a little bit. So somebody, this chariot energy, I don't know. This could be somebody traveling to you because the chariot could mean traveling too. So this is like somebody traveling to you and they're going to make you some type of offer. Like they're committed to you. They could be committed to helping you, assisting you. This, I think somebody's going to travel to you. While you in your five of pentacles energy, while you feel left out in the cold, thinking God ain't answering you, he ain't heard your prayers, you can't manifest something wrong with you, it ain't fair, life ain't fair. So while you in this five of pentacles energy, somebody's going to travel to you and this person is committed to you. They want to help you. And it came out like this. So while you in five of pentacles feeling left out in the cold, you in the storm, you in the storm, this person going to come up behind you because they committed to helping you and assisting you and they going to offer you that pinnacle. And when they give you that commitment, when they give you that pinnacle, now you got six pinnacles. Six pinnacles is a payout. Six pinnacles is like the rich helping the poor. Six pinnacles is assistance. Mm -hmm. And this person who could possibly be traveling to you to offer you this pinnacle, possibly give you some type of money that you don't got to pay back because they're is letting me know they're committed to helping you. They want to give you that pinnacle. They want to help you with something. So you're going to go from five pinnacles to six pinnacles. Mm hmm. Yep. So I'm going to go ahead up here to the top for time's sake. Because whatever you lacking in your resources or your finances, whoever could be possibly traveling to you in this chariot energy, they're going to help you. They're going to give you the resources you need or they might give you the, the money you need. Yeah. Because you're going to get a payout. And let me go up here to the top and I'll read y'all Oracle. Y'all got number 14, which is thorns. Weave together the crown you deserve. This right here is the ultimate card of celebration. Not just of yourself, you're amazing though, but of those around you. When you're done putting on your crown each and every morning, go and help someone else put on theirs. You have so much love and wisdom to spread. So don't waste it. Self-love is essential, but community is important too. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now that I read that, what could be going on to Aquarius? 
you could be dealing with a Libra. And this person, you the one who could be, you could be in this night of pentacles energy traveling to this Libra. Going to offer, you know, going to, um, you're committed to helping this person. And you might get them some money or something. Yeah, this could be, you don't have to be this, um, this is either you or, um, this is that Libra who probably at first didn't want your help. Yeah, let me see. Let me see. Clarify this nine of wands. Money path. A path with money is waiting for you. Fear man. Dealings or relationship with a man with blonde, gray, or white hair. Yeah. So this could be you, Aquarius. So, yeah. This was you. You was defensive. A path was, with money is waiting for you. So whatever, whatever this fair man told you, you rejected him. You didn't want to hear it. Because it say a path with money is waiting for you. Or the person who you um had to deal with to get this money or to get this resource, you probably had to deal with this fair man and you didn't want to. Or this fair man is the person who's, going, who's in that Knight of Pentacles energy and he's going to be the one to help you. Get this um finance, this um financial breakthrough, or give you access to some type of resource you need. Yeah. But I think that is you who is in this nine of wands. But the card said, um help someone else put on theirs. You have so much love and wisdom to spread. So don't waste it. Self-love is essential. But community is important too. Okay. So I don't know if this nine of wands is you, Aquarius. Or this nine of wands is like somebody else. And it's like a community effort thing. Because, um, yeah, most times, when you know, resources is found within the community. So maybe you is this Knight of Pentacles and you're going to, um, help this person. And if this is you and this Knight of Pentacles energy, it's probably a Libra you're dealing with. Yeah. Cause this Libra person came up twice and they defensive. Then it's like they humbled themselves a little bit after they rejected your, um, your help. And then they just started feeling left out in the cold. Yeah. So they went from like fiery defense to like realizing it wasn't so much of them being angry. It was just that they didn't have the resources. Yeah. So they could have covered up their lack. It's like this person came off at you, Aquarius, as angry. But underneath their anger, they really was like, um, didn't have it. They was five pentacles. Yeah. And this is either you, Aquarius, <clears throat> and a Libra is trying to help you, or this is the Libra you're trying to help. Yeah. Yep. So what clarified thorns was this five of pentacles. I go this five of pentacles again up here at the top. And while I was pulling y'all cards, I noticed that. See, the five of pentacles in traditional tarot is just. Some cards, it has just one person outside. Sometimes it's two people left outside. But in this after tarot, it's three people. And what I'm getting, Aquarius, is that you or somebody else, the person who feels left out in the cold, you or somebody else is going to realize you're not the only one. That's what I'm getting from this Five of Pentacles. So it's like two, it's like two is better than one, but it's like this couple right here realized that they not out in the cold by themselves because that lady, she alone. 
That lady right here, she alone. And she out there by herself. And there's a couple right there. They're not alone, but they're still, there is still lack. So I'm getting a queries whether this is you, that lady, and you by yourself, or you that couple right there. It's like somebody realized that they're not the only one that's in this situation, this five of pentacles. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, clarify the five of pentacles at the top was um, the ace of swords and temperance. This is the major arcana for the sign of Aquarius. And this temperance card is all about fairness, unity, harmony, balance. I'm trying to think what this could be telling me. What I want to say is somebody, what I'm getting from this is somebody got some type of truth. It was like a reality check a little bit. Somebody had got some type of truth or Aquarius, you could have said something. If you the one trying to help this Libra, you could have said something to this person that made them, um, Calm down their attitude. Because I'm getting Aquarius. If you're the one helping this Libra. This person. Instead of just telling you. You know I don't have the money. Whatever. This person probably cussed you out. Like said something out their mouth to you. And you probably said something back to them. Because somebody went from nine of wands. Offensive fiery. Like this somebody who, who pissed off. Don't come near me. Get back. Don't call my phone. Leave me alone. That's nine wands. So if this is this Libra talking to you like this, you could have gave them some type of truth. And they had the tempers out their emotions. And the person ended up like this. They like, you know, calm down and just, they could have just said, okay, let me calm down. I apologize for yelling at you. I just don't have the money. Like, I don't have the money. I don't know. I don't have, you know, I don't have Wi-Fi. I can't do that. I'm, I don't have technology. Whatever the issue was. Or like I said, if this is a health issue, um, what I'm getting, Aquarius, you could possibly be working in a medical field. And I don't, this could be a patient, you know. You probably got them on a regimen, some type of something, and you said something to them, and they just, they cussed you out. And when you told them whatever you said to them, they had to balance out their emotions. And then they just came back to you and, you know, explained to you, you know, I apologize. I didn't mean to yell at you, but I, I really just don't got the money. It's something like that, or is my insurance? I couldn't make it to my appointment because you know my insurance or whatever. That's what this is looking like. Because it's like when you spoke your truth, and this person had the temperance, their attitude, their emotions. It's like this person could realized. This person realized that they they wasn't the only one. That's what I'm that's what I'm saying. Yeah. So it's kind of like Aquarius, you probably had to put somebody in check. But some or somebody possibly had to put you in check. Somebody just had to realize that they were not the only one in that um five of pentacles energy. Yeah. So when I asked for more information about thorns, the world came out. So this is another traveling. This is traveling. This can also mean like success, somebody closing out one cycle, going to another cycle. 